the Slade. And then I added a little bit of that to it, a neutral gray. This is Americana paint line. You can find this at craft stores all throughout America. Um, it's around $2 a bottle, I think. So, yeah. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, my stippling techniques on the next coat. I'm going to be adding a little bit of this to it. A sand. So, same company again, Americana. And uh, we'll get to that next. Okay, I'm just mixing up the paint here. And I always try to have a little bit of extra paint for the what I the coat I just put on before. And I'll just mix that up. And I kind of want it to be just a little bit watery. And I'm just adding water, no nothing else. There you go. That's pretty much the consistency of how I want it. Okay, everyone, this is something I really just kind of jury rigged. I don't have a tripod at all. I have an old um, magnifying lamp, and this thing is old. This thing is probably about 25 years old. Uh, I uh, The magnifying glass has fallen out years ago. Uh, so I just been using it as a lamp so come up with a great idea of actually carving the hole duct taping this in and hopefully this will work that will make it work all right see you okay so just kind of do this I said you want to kind of twist it up in the air. If you twist it down here, you'll get that. You can fix it. You just tap over it some more. Okay. Hopefully you got the idea there. Okay, so you can see here, uh, a little bit of the previous shade is always kind of bleeding through, and that's what's going to give you that really nice, realistic rock effect. This is also a great technique for doing stonework as well, as well as concrete and um, rocks, like I said before. I've also used it to paint rubble. It does a great job of doing that as well. I'm going to put down another coat. We'll put it back up on my, my homemade tripod here, and we'll... Uh, we'll the uh, next coat which I added some more of that sand color so this is something that you uh, always want to do is make sure that it's always completely dry before you put on the next coat otherwise it's just going to blend it all together too much and load up this sponge and here we go I'll go on to the next coat okay so you can see here it actually dries a lot lighter and blends in a lot more so you can start to see the three or four different layers of grays the beige that's thrown in there as well I'm gonna do one more uh, coat and that's gonna be the last that we do here today. 
and then we'll start doing some uh, weathering. So here we go with the last coat here. Just kind of press it into the corner so I can get get the paint into those little corners. Okay, so that is the last coat. I just want to show at this angle here. You see some of the texture that I was telling you about. When we start weathering, that's going to give the place, uh, the uh, paints uh, and washes, a place to hide, and it helps uh, give it a, a realistic look to it. But there we go.